New at 6, the Nueces County Jail is making progress toward freeing up some space. This is the jail's capacity was at 104% during the COVID-19 pandemic, causing a need to move inmates to other Texas counties. Nueces County Sheriff J.C. Hooper says the capacity is now between 89 and 90%, but that's not including those other inmates. Brandon Schaff has our coverage of this story today and joins me now in studio. Hey, Brandon. Hey, good evening, Leslie, and the maximum capacity of the Nueces County Jail is 1,164 inmates, and Hooper says that they need to get those inmates back there, the ones that are housed in those other counties, because of the seven-figure cost that they bring. Uh, the county has had to spend over a million dollars to house our inmates elsewhere. And so that's an ongoing issue that we're still dealing with. That cost is something J.C. Hooper said can be avoided if inmates can remain in Oasis County Jail. But if the 40 inmates between Aransas and Victoria counties were brought back today, capacity would rise to 94 percent above the recommended amount to safely move inmates around. There's one inmate that's been in this jail almost six years in a county jail waiting for his day in court. And there are significant violent offenders in this jail who have been here a long time. Sandra Watts is a retired judge from the 117th District Court. The senior judge was assigned by Judge Missy Mandiri to preside over the auxiliary docket, a rolling docket of 30 trial-ready cases between eight district courts. She said it's helping with an overflow of cases filling the jail. There has been a, a sub definite reduction uh, as far as uh, the cases going to trial. And I think that with the help, the other courts are moving as well. So everybody's gearing up. Watts said 130 cases were referred to her since she was appointed on October 1st last year, with each inmate costing at least $80 a day to house in the jail. Her court is helping speed up the process to limit the costs to taxpayers. It moves them off the other judges' dockets so that they can tend to other cases in there. It's, it's just like having an, an, I'm an assistant to the other judges. Hooper said defense attorneys are now moving their clients through faster since they know they won't have as much time before their case is heard. Their ability to spend, to do time served in the county jail is not going to not going to be there for him much longer We're, because the courts are moving again. Hooper says that he wants to move those inmates from those other counties back to the Nueces County Jail as soon as possible so that those costs are removed from their budget. He's also confident that the Texas Commission on Jail Standards will find the Nueces County Jail compliant after its most recent inspection after it was found noncompliant during the pandemic. Leslie. All right, Brandon, thank you.